Would you like to know why you keep losing discussions when you have a very valid point and how they turn into arguments? Well, today, that's what we're going to talk about. When you've got a very valid point and you're trying to help somebody, but then it goes into a heated argument, how can we stop it from happening? So first of all, we need to sort of take a step back and look into the old saying, we've got two ears and one mouth for a reason. What does that really mean? It means that we need to be listening twice as much as we're talking. And all too often when we get to these situations and we've got points, we've got this point, we really want to help someone. You're a good person, you want to help. You've got the truth, this, it's this thing of truth and we want to say it to the other person. All too often we can be quick to talk, 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 and we don't actually take a second to stop and listen to what they're actually saying. Because although we've got this truth, they also have their truth. And although you're trying to help, you still have to listen to their truth. So you need to be quick to listen, slow to speak. Quick to listen, so to speak. Just take your time, listen to what they're actually saying. Show that you actually care about them rather than just saying, I've got this thing, I'm trying to ram it down your throat because that's when things happen. And the reason why we end up losing these arguments, because again, this is a, it starts off as a conversation, it's a discussion, but it always ends in those arguments. We've all been there, whether it's with your partner, whether it's with a friend, a work colleague, whatever it is, where you've got the best intentions, you're trying to help, and before you know it, argument erupts. It's because we cross over from logic land into emotion land. We cross over from logic land into emotion land, meaning that when we're trying to have this conversation, logic goes out the window because we get involved in emotions. We let our emotions take over and that's when things boil over and that's when things become ugly because emotions will make you say things that you didn't mean to say or do things you didn't mean to do. We've all been there. How many times have you been in the argument and then afterwards you look back and went, why did I say that? I didn't mean to say that. I shouldn't have said that. Or you've done something, whatever it is. And then as soon as you do that, you lose the argument. Because although you start off with the truth and it's a very valid point, as soon as you go into emotion land and do something not good, you then lose it. So let's just, I'm, if you're here on um, uh, YouTube or Spotify, I'm going to put a little picture of that I've drawn because these, these are taken from notes that I, I took earlier on this week uh, on this topic. I want to sort of share them with you. So someone initially does something wrong, something that's really clearly wrong, and you're trying to help them. But then what happens is you then go over into emotion land. When you go over into emotion land, you end up doing or saying something wrong yourself which then means that what they did wrong gets sidetracked and then you get put on blast. That thing that you've just done now becomes a center of attention, even though you were originally right. You were originally right, they've done something wrong, but now because you've done something, the original thing goes out the window, you are now on blast. And this is when the heated argument becomes, explodes and things go wrong. So today I want to give you five ways that we can help someone who is in the wrong or done something clearly wrong uh, or on a bad path without actually losing the argument. So first point here is, remember, when emotions are up, intelligence goes down. We all know this to be true. When emotions go up, intelligence goes down. So when we find ourselves emotionally charged, we, we get that feeling, we, we know it, we know all too well, maybe you start shaking, you, you start to, uh, your voice starts to break a little bit, you know, you can feel yourself getting warm, flustered. Take yourself out of that situation until the emotions are no longer charged. That's the best way for you to win the argument. Just take yourself out. When you start to notice that you're going over to emotion land, you're crossing the bridge to emotion land, just stop. Can you remove yourself from that situation to just calm it down? It's like that little thermostat. You can see it going up, going up, going up before it explodes. Just can, can, you, can you recognize this? This all comes down to self-awareness. Did a whole podcast on self-awareness. I'm going to link it here and also in the description below. Whole podcast on self-awareness. That's what it comes down to. Are you aware of your emotional state? And are you becoming aware that you are getting heated and going over to emotion land, knowing that you're full well, more than likely going to say something or do something that is wrong, offensive, upsets you the person, and then puts you in the wrong as well. And you're now going down the same path as them. That's point number one. Number two, you need to care more about doing the right thing rather than being seen as right. Let me say that again. You need to care more about doing the right thing rather than being seen as as right. It's not about winning this argument or discussion. It's about actually doing the right thing and helping this person. If someone's done something wrong or if they're going down a bad path or you've got this truth that can help them, that's the most important thing. It's not about winning an argument. It's not about winning the battle and then losing the war. It's not about that. You don't have to win everything. You don't have to say everything as like, right, I've got to win. I've got this point. I've got to win. You don't have to see it like that. Just, just remember, it's about doing the right thing. And it reminds me of a quote from Harry Potter, which is one of my mantras I live by. Do what's right, not what's easy. Do what's right and not what is easy. Point number three, don't let your emotions boil over rapidly. So this kind of ties into the first, first point especially. Um, don't talk until that feeling of anger goes away. 
we know what it's like. Do you know when you're boiling some food on the hob? Let's uh, boiling rice. Uh, and it's boiling away, boiling away. Very, very quickly, if you aren't aware of what's going on, that water boils over and it goes everywhere. It goes over the pan, it goes all over the hob and it ruins everything. That's kind of what this is like. You don't want your emotions to boil over rapidly. You need to just calm. Don't talk until you've noticed it go down. Don't just turn the temperature down on, 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 on the hob. Just turn it down. And before it starts to simmer over, just let it settle. And then you can start to communicate again. And here's the key thing. Communicate again. It's all about communication. Putting your point across is about communication. So when you're noticing that this feeling's building up, say to the person, I'm noticing that I'm getting quite emotional here. I can see myself going down a bad path. I'd like to just take five, 10 minutes. While I just calm down, we both take a second and then can we come back and recarry this conversation on? It's about communication, especially if this person is someone that you really, really care about. Having that communication to be like, I can feel myself getting a bit anxious here. I can see you, you doing the same. Can we just take five to 10 minutes, have a coffee, just get some fresh air, whatever it is, just to calm ourselves down and then we can carry this conversation on again. Because you don't want to say something that you don't, you don't want to say something you don't mean just because you feel it. You don't want to say something that you don't mean just because you feel it. You're in that feeling, you're in that emotional state. So you just say it just because you're in that emotional state. Don't allow yourself to get that stage. Now, before I go over the final two points, if you're taking any value from today's episode, don't forget to like and share it with a friend. If you're on YouTube, please think about subscribing and hitting that bell notification. So whenever a new video comes out, there's two of these a week. We've got full-length episodes on a Tuesday and then these shorter ones on a Thursday. You will get notified if you're on Spotify or iTunes, Apple Podcasts, sorry. Uh, again, don't forget to give us a follow and if you could leave us a review as well, that'd be absolutely awesome. We've got some amazing guests coming up. We've had some amazing guests the last two weeks. Uh, so again, got some great stuff lining up. So do us a massive favor there. Thank you very much. So number four, don't be in a hurry to win the argument. Don't be in a hurry to win the argument. We can get excited, can't we? We've got this thing. This, we know this person's wrong. We sometimes we get excited, don't we? When we know that person's wrong, it's like, oh, I'm going to tell you about yourself. We get excited to win the argument. It's not about that. It's doing the right thing, linking it to another point. Don't just go in for the kill. You've got to stick to your point. Don't be in a hurry to win the argument. Don't be in a hurry to, 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 to right, da, da. no, no. Just stick to your points. Because what happens is you're going to say something and then the person's going to rebuttal. Stick to your point. Don't be in a rush to win. Don't be like, yeah, but no, no, no. No, no, but you're not listening. And again, go back to the, the very first thing before we went into these points. Listen. Say one point and listen to what they're saying. Don't be in a rush to get through all your points. Don't be in a rush. Don't allow those emotions to boil. Get that one point across. Just like, just, just bam, throw the dart, let it land, see what the response is. Stay calm, control, logical. Respond again. Get your second point across. Listen. Talk. Listen twice as much. Just slowly work your way through. And the final point, tying it all together, communicate clearly on their level. Show that you actually understand their points and are actually listening. Genuinely listen. If you, if you see someone that's done something wrong and you're trying to help them, just please, just actually listen to them. Because that's also why you get into an argument. Because people don't feel seen and heard. If you're just talking to get your points across and da 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 especially when your emotions are getting and you can raise your voice and whatever it is and get a bit heated, People don't feel like they're being heard or listened to. And the best way for you to get your points across is to genuinely listen to that person. I hear you. I see you. I feel you. I understand that this is what you're saying to me. Am I correct? Just keep talking on their level. Make sure that you understand their points and then keep bringing it back to your points, which you're using, remember, to try and help that person. They've done something wrong and they're going down a bad path, whatever it is, or you've got this truth that can help them. That's the aim of the conversation, not to win the argument. I hope today's episode helped you. See you guys next week. Take it easy.